Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk about the recently completed uh, disaster of a series that was Reds versus Indians. Uh, right now the Reds sit with a 5-8 and eight record, and in this season of expanding the playoff teams, they're still in it I guess, but this is becoming a nightmare, uh, and it's becoming a nightmare very quickly because there's only 60 games, so they need to figure this out now and turn this ship around because what I saw, especially the past three games, was an absolute disgrace. This team has too much talent to be playing like this, and if it continues, some heads are going to need to roll. Um, really, with this team, outside of the starting pitching and Nick Castellanos, nothing else is, is – uh, no other aspect is performing well. Um, if you go up and down the lineup, you see a lot of guys batting – uh, in the low 200, some even below 200. Uh, Suarez hasn't gotten going yet. Galvis isn't hitting. Vado has cooled off. Barnhart's not hitting. Akiyama uh, is really yet to uh, take off. Uh, Sinzel has uh, had a dip in production as well. And then you, you look at the bullpen. Uh, it's just who in the bull, who in the bullpen is performing well, really. I mean. Um, and then you look at the manager, David Bell, and I'm, I, I can't criticize him too much for taking starting pitching out or the starting pitchers out when he does. Uh, that's been a big uh, criticism of his on social media. Uh, I do, however, have it, take issue with his selections in the moment. Um, Bell is very into analytics, and he, to me, he has a strong feel for that, but less so for the human side of the game. I was especially upset the other night when a uh, close game, uh, I think it was um, two or three nights ago, uh, T.G. Anton pitched uh, a little over four innings, and there was a situation in the game which really required, I feel like um, it was a spot for Garrett to come in and pitch. Well, they, they didn't put him in there, and they surrendered the lead, and then finally when they're down 6-4, to four, he comes in. I saw some stuff about uh, the particular left-handed batters at Cleveland, uh, doing fairly well against left-handed pitching, but I want my best guy in there in the toughest situations. And if the, those left-handed batters beat him, then all you can do is tip your hat to him. But um, I just – I don't like where he's putting guys in spots in the bullpen, and that needs to change. And also, these guys just need to play better because David Bell can be blamed for a lot, but he can't be blamed for everybody at this lineup other than Castellanos underperforming, and that has to stop. And they have a pretty – Easy schedule coming up. Um, I think against uh, it's Milwaukee this weekend, Kansas City, and I can't remember the other team off the top of my head. I would have to look, but and that would be a good time to finally turn things around. And of course, those teams might be looking at the Reds as an opportunity to turn things around because of the Red struggles. So, uh, just a horrible series against Cleveland. They erased any momentum from the previous um, from the doubleheader sweep over the Tigers and. In a year that was supposed to be different, we're seeing a lot of the same stuff, and that is extremely frustrating. And if not now, then when? Because if this was supposed to be the all-in year, after this season, they could potentially lose some very key players, such as Cast Castellanos could op opt out, and we could also lose Trevor Bauer and Di Sclafani from the rotation. So now is the time to go for the jugular. The rebuild, quote-unquote, is over, and... Uh, this is the moment for the Reds to put up or shut up. So we'll see what happens. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.